Another toilet project remains locked. School authorities, disturbed by this situation, say the facility is rotting away. For one and a half years, this toilet facility, which has been completed, sits here locked up. And students and pupils of the Unity Junior Secondary School and the Ayebeng Memorial Primary and KG have to trek distances to go and use a public toilet facility where they pay 50 pesos each time they visit the place. According to what school authorities tell me, this situation has compelled the students to be running out of campus and it has bred truancy. Community folk are worried about the situation and they say the earlier this facility is opened up for the students to use, the better for them. One after another, students who need to respond to nature's call file through the community to a public toilet during instructional hours. When we want to we want to the public toilet to we pay 50 pesos before we if you don't have the 50 pesos, you cannot sh So we want you to open the toilet for us so that we can. We don't use our money to pay the public toilet. When we are going to sh we go to the public toilet to buy to, um, to give them money. So we want you to open these toilets for us. If you don't have, if you don't have money, you can't. Sh It's uh, about a 120 meter journey from the school compound to where the pupils have been coming to, you know, attend to nature's call here. The public toilets in my short is where students of the Ejabing and the Unity School have to walk to use this facility because the one on the school compound is currently unusable. It's been locked. It has never been in operation for over one and a half years. This is not only worrying. It is a situation that is giving school authorities sleepless nights. Community folk also invade the school premises, leaving a huge mess behind for pupils to clear up on a daily basis. This is the only public school in the Ayawasu North constituency, and I suspected the numbers are huge. We have about a thousand, getting a thousand two hundred people in the class. I mean, in the school, both the primary and teacher. Before I got there, the, the place was like that, completed. And they promised the commission. Since then, we continue to put pressure for this key so that you can also get access to the place because the children have been going out. Uh, formerly, they were meeting at the back of our building, the school, the school building, which makes the whole place very stinky. The children have no choice than to go to town whenever they want to meet or go to toilet. Headmaster Solomon Adovo is worried the situation could get out of hand if authorities do not move in to open up this toilet for use. And even during class hours, you see them asking permission that they are going to their town. You can't prevent them. So this thing go a long way to affect academic work. We try every means to report to the authorities, the municipal, any officials that will come, the MPs, all to no avail. After now, the reason why the place is still lying there and the children continue to suffer and academic work is disrupted, we don't know. But really, what could be the reason why a completed toilet facility would remain closed? forcing pupils to use community toilets. We're still looking for answers.